welcome to Acacia Talks Coherence. I'm Eugene Park, Senior Manager of Technical Marketing at Acacia Communications. In this video, I'll explain Acacia's 3D shaping technology, a technology that enables today's cloud and carrier network operators to optimize their network transmission, allowing them to meet growing consumer and enterprise demand for bandwidth. 3D shaping helps to turn capacity gaps into usable bandwidth by adapting the transmission to the network. Powered by Acacia's Pico DSP chip, this powerful 3D shaping capability enables network capacity optimization, bringing out the fuller potential of every optical link in the network. 3D shaping enables the optical transmission to essentially morph itself to the capacity boundaries of each channel. And it does this by using Pico's fine granularity control of the coherent source transmission. 3D shaping is a key feature in the recently introduced Pico-powered AC1200, a 1.2 terabit coherent transceiver module which supports two wavelengths up to 600 gig each. So what exactly is 3D shaping? Well, as the name implies, there are three elements to 3D shaping with each providing a real-world benefit. There's shaping of probability, shaping of location, and shaping of spectral width. To explain the first two, let me review something called constellation diagrams. Coherent modulation is typically characterized by its constellation diagram, which is an XY plot of points representing what's called the in-phase and quadrature characteristics of the coherent transmission signal. It's also called an IQ plot for short. For example, here's a constellation for 16 qualm, and here's a constellation for 64 qualm. Both have all points on a uniform grid, with each point representing a transmitted symbol. The constellation also provides a visual indication of the quality of the transmission. A constellation with widely spaced points tends to have a transmission that is more tolerant to noise compared to a constellation with closely spaced points. Okay, let's get back to 3D shaping. The first element of 3D shaping is the ability to shape the probability of the constellation points, which optimizes the transmission capacity. Recall each constellation point represents a transmitted symbol. By adjusting the likelihood or probability of each symbol being transmitted, the probability distribution of the constellation can be shaped. Previous generations of coherent DSPs assigned the entire constellation with a uniform probability distribution, meaning that the likelihood of each symbol being transmitted is the same. By shaping or adjusting the probability distribution of the constellation into a non-uniform distribution, one can better fill the capacity of the channel for a given reach. Acacia accomplishes the shaping of probability by using its patented fractional qualm, or F-qualm, which is a particularly power-efficient method of shaping probability. Previous DSP generations utilized quantized qualm settings, which may create capacity gaps in a channel. F-qualm enables one to dial in a more precise non-integer bit per symbol modulation setting to improve capacity utilization on a channel. The second element of 3D shaping is the ability to shape the location or position of the constellation points, which optimizes transmission distance. As I previously mentioned, tolerance to noise can be represented by how the constellation points are positioned near each other. By shaping or adjusting the location of individual points, the tolerance to noise can be optimized. This translates to optimizing the reach of the link. The third element of 3D shaping is the ability to shape the transmission spectrum, which enables unused spectral gaps to be converted into usable bandwidth. This is accomplished by a feature called adaptive baud rate. Previous generations of DSPs have fixed or quantized baud rate choices, which can create spectral gaps in a channel. Using adaptive baud rate, Pico-powered modules can adjust the transmission spectrum to better fit into the aggregate available passband of the channel. This is useful in a metro or long haul network with multiple Rotom network elements. 
By shaping the spectral width using adaptive baud rate, one can turn the spectral gaps into usable bandwidth. Adaptive baud rate enables the next wave of transmission optimization. Rather than the line system adjusting to match to the optical transmission, for example, via WSS technology, with adaptive baud rate, we now have the ability to adjust the optical transmission to match the line system network for a new level of network tunability and flexibility. Flexible grid channel spacing in a network can create bandwidth fragmentation. By using adaptive baud rate, fragmentation can be minimized, which in turn minimizes stranded bandwidth. Now that you are familiar with 3D shaping, what does it mean in practice? Well, consider transmission of 200 gig across an optical channel based on 50 gigahertz spacing with few rotom nodes. By increasing the baud rate to fill the available spectrum and operating with a lower modulation order, nearly one and a half dB improvement in performance can be achieved. Okay, we're coming to the end of this video, so let's wrap things up. Acacia's 3D shaping technology, which we have successfully demonstrated using our Pico DSP, provides fine-tuned transmission flexibility to help network operators optimize the capacity in their network. Discover the hidden capacity in your network with Acacia's 3D Shaping. For more information on Acacia's 3D Shaping technology powered by Acacia's Pico DSP, please visit our website, acacia-inc.com.